Okay. For the oocyte, the development of oocyte or follicle in the ovary, the start from here. This is called a, a primordial cells. It's a primary oocyte surrounded by a single layer of uh, follicular cells. Okay, and the, after this stage, it further develops into primary follicles. And these follicles are single oocyte, primary oocyte, surrounded by a multiple layer of follicular cells. And after this stage, it further develops into secondary follicles. In secondary follicle, there is a, a hollow cavity inside full of fluid. It's called antrum. And uh, the surrounding cells are still follicular cells. But the, surround, the cells surrounding the primary oocyte is called granulosa cells. Okay? Granulosa cells is, is going to further develop into this part is called radiata when the oocyte pops up, these surrounding cells. Okay? And after the secondary follicles, it forms a, a graphene follicle, which is not showing on this model. The difference between graphene follicle and secondary is in graphene follicle, the oocyte uh, goes through phase one meiosis, so it's divided into a polar body, a very small cell, a polar body, and the secondary oocyte. So the secondary oocyte is ready to pop up from the graphene uh, follicle. So after the oocyte pops up, the remain of the follicle further develop into this tissue. It's called corpus luteum, and this tissue is supposed to produce uh, estrogen and progesterone. These are pregnancy promoting hormones if, you, if the host is pregnant. If the host is not pregnant, this tissue degenerated into this scar tissue. It's called uh, corpus albicans. And basically, this tissue degrades itself and disappears in the ovary. Okay, and after the oocyte pops up, it's taken up by this tissue, the finger-shaped tissue is called uh, fimbrae, and this fimbrae, uh, now the oocyte goes up to here. This part is called what? I'm not gonna just talk Flopin by myself. What's that? Ampulla. Ampulla. Fallopian tubes. Infantibulum here. Oh, there. Right, infantibulum. That's just how they work. And ampulla is this part. It's the widest part of this ovarian duct, or you say a uh, fallopian duct. Okay. So in ampulla, the sperm is going to meet the oocyte, and the fertilization happens here. So the after the fertilization happens, we call this cell a zygote. It's not oocyte anymore. It's a zygote. So the zygote divided, uh, divides itself into this, so it goes through the cleavage phase. It divides into two parts, then four, then eight. This is called, these are called uh, marula. <coughs> and after marula, it's solid inside, this marula. And after the marula, it develops into this, this ball. And this ball is called plastocyst. It's actually a hollow inside. It has a cavity. So this is a cross section of this one. So the yellow cells, yellow cell mass is called inner cell mass. It's going to develop into uh, embryo in the future. And the surrounding cells is called uh, trophoblast, which forms placenta in the future. And this <coughs> is a cavity. Okay. What's that cavity for? Just to like leave room for the developing fetus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's full of liquid. It uh, provides nutrition, provides a buffer system for the fetus. Okay, and it further develops into this this part, and uh, this is uh, uh, endoderm, and this is ectoderm, ectoderm. 
and further develop into this part. This part is going to form uh, placenta, and this is going to form embryo, and this is endoderm, and this is ectoderm. Okay.